Hey gang, it's Paul with Threadback. Welcome back to our channel. Jordan and I are back here at our main remodel project and we are back here in the master bathroom. We have been waiting and waiting for some special order tile to come in and it finally arrived. It's actually gonna go in our niche. Come over here and check it out. Here's one sheet of it. It's this beautiful matte green dragon skin tile and we are gonna use it to transform our niche from this drab orange waterproofing into the focal point of this shower and really this whole bathroom, right? It's gonna be the first thing you notice when you walk in that door. And we're not stopping there with it. Come on down here to the curb. We actually bought a couple of extra sheets and we're gonna use it to trim the front edge here and the right hand edge of the curb, tie it all together and it's gonna look absolutely epic. Now you probably noticed I already tiled the bathroom floor. Sorry gang, I had to keep busy while Jordan was healing from having his wisdom teeth pulled. But don't worry about it, we had this whole bathroom behind me to do off the hallway and we're gonna show you step by step how we tile a bathroom floor. But I'm so excited to get that dragon skin tile installed. Let's head out to our tile saw and we'll show you our setup. All right, here we are outside. Let's go through our setup. The first thing you're gonna need to cut glass tile is a blade made for that purpose. We actually mounted one on our wet saw. Come check it out. Here it is right here. You're gonna have to get over the sticker shock and you just gotta go buy one, gang. We've tried cutting glass tile with our regular blade we put on this machine and it just doesn't do the job. It's a huge mess. The other thing you're gonna notice here, I made a sacrificial sled. Let me remove it and then I'm gonna show you why I made it. We have this trough here that this blade rides in and then there's a big trough up here. What happens, those little pebble tiles on that dragon skin tile, they're gonna roll down in here and start to bind the blade. And these back here are completely unsupported. So I made this sacrificial sled out of an old piece of tile and I made a kerf in it about an eighth of an inch deep. Check that out. Ideally, a piece of foam backer board would work great. I just didn't have any, so I used a piece of tile. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna completely support both edges of those small glass tile all the way to the end of my cut. And the added bonus is, this gives you a line showing exactly where the blade is gonna be, so you can line your cut line up on there, send it through the blade. Let me get my hearing protection on, and we're gonna mark our tile and cut our first piece. I let the blade stop and then I pull it back because these little pieces are gonna get caught in the blade. And there we go, dude. Let's go see if it fits. All right, let's see how this thing fits. Awesome. Look how great that is gonna look. Now, our side tiles here are gonna cover up our cut edge in the back corner. So now all we have to do is measure this, head outside and rinse and repeat. Alrighty gang, there's our last piece of dragon scale for our niche. I'm gonna set it down. And while we had the glass tile blade in our saw, we went ahead and cut the rest of our dragon scale to face our curb right here. Isn't that gonna look fantastic? It's gonna set it off incredibly. Instead of it all being white, that's gonna make that curb stand out. I love that, Jordan. That was an awesome idea you had, bud. And you'll also notice we even pre-cut our pieces on the inside of the curb right here. And those are all ready to go. So you're starting to see a theme here, right? We always pre-cut. Well, as much as you can, right? If we get to the end and we have to trim a couple, that's all right. So what do I have to pre-cut? What's left for us? We have a piece of tile here and one on the right. The shelf is gonna sit on top of those two. And we've got another one here, another one here, and another one here. Five more pieces. So let me grab the tape measure and I'm gonna measure the width of those pieces. Okay, I want them to be three and a quarter inches wide. Now there's one more measurement we need. We need the bevel of this, right? This is at an angle so that water is gonna drain off of there. We don't wanna put a 90 degree cut right there. We're gonna have a big gap on this side. So I've got my bevel gauge in my pocket. Let me get rid of this piece of dragon skin. And all we gotta do, put that against the back, push it down, and there's our angle. So let's head out to the tile saw, take the glass blade off, put our regular tile blade on there, and start cutting some tile. Oh, 
All right, guys, we got all the tile pieces for our niche cut for the sides and the top. And if you remember from a couple of videos back, we had a little piece of stone left over from the top of the curb. It's right here and it's just big enough so we can make our shelf out of the same material and it'll tie it all in together, just like the dragon scales. We're gonna cut this on the wet saw. Let's head to it. All right, guys, got our thin set all ready to go. It's been slicking outside for a few minutes. We remixed it, very important step, and all our parts are pre-cut. I'm thinking I can be in the hot tub in an hour, dude. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. Awesome. All right, guys, that looks absolutely awesome, especially when it's wet. Now I'm gonna back butter these a little bit in the corner and we're gonna slide in our Schluter trim. I'm just gonna use my trowel as a hawk so I don't have to dip down to the bucket all the time. Each is moving along. We got the dragon skin in the back. We got our Schluter on our other three sides and we are ready to put the sides in. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my margin trowel, embed some order there, and use my notch trowel on the back of the tile because this is such a small area. You ready, bud? Let's do it. I'm ready, let's get it done. These two pieces are in, it looks absolutely killer. Here's our shelf, it's next, and here we go. Come on. <laughs> Yay. Want some precise cutting, dude. <laughs> All right, awesome. All the tile and the niche is done. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all grouted. It's gonna look fantastic. Let's head on down here to the floor, start working on that curb. Alrighty guys, one more piece on the back of the curb here and it's right here in this corner. Now the tile wasn't sitting flush with the curb, it was sticking out a little bit because we have three layers of Schluter back there, right? So all I did to make room was take it to the tile saw and plane off the back of the tile. Now it's gonna be perfect. A little thin set on this and then we can do the dragon skin on the front. <laughs> That's close. And boom, just like that, the inside of the curve is completed. I'm gonna put some shims there to hold everything until that thin set hardens. Now let's work on the outside and we are out of here. All right, the outside of the curb is all done. Doesn't look awesome, but it is super late. We're gonna head home and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, it is the next day here at the stud pack job site and Jordan and I are here in the hall bath and our goal today is to tile this floor bath. And we're gonna show you the process because we didn't get to show you the process in the master bath. But don't worry, we're gonna go back in there later. We're gonna show you how we grout it and give you a final reveal and you're gonna love the way it looks. Come on down to the floor with me and I'll show you what I've already done. 
as you can see, I've already pre-cut the tile in the toilet nook and I've done this row and I've actually even done the next two rows and they're labeled and stacked in the hallway behind Jordan. I'm a huge fan of pre-cutting. Don't be afraid to pull out your tile saw, start cutting and fitting tile before you mix up that thin set. There's nothing worse than having that stuff set up in the bucket while you're battling those one or two tiles you're having a lot of trouble with, right? This little bathroom has 12 corners. Are they gonna slow us down? Well, we're gonna see, but let's head outside right now and mix up some thin set. All right, cool. Now that our thin set is all mixed up, we're gonna let it slake for about five minutes. <laughs> we'll fix that. And while it's slaking, let's head inside and clean and prep that bathroom floor. Cool. Let's get this door out of our way, dude. Alrighty gang, our floor is all prepped. Let's head outside and give our thin set one more little stir. All right, gang, toilet nook is good. Let's start on our first big row and start flying. All right, that was super fast. As you can see, we got our first row in here and the toilet nook done. We brought my eight foot Festool track saw guide in here. It is perfectly straight. I'm going to push it up against these tiles, get all that dialed in, work my way back into the toilet niche, get all my spacing right, and then put our lock wedges in here. Look how nice that is. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty gang, it is the next day. What do you say we finish those bathroom floors and those shower walls? What do I mean by that? Let's grout them. What are we gonna use? Prism Grout by Custom Building Products and we're gonna use the Arctic White color. It's the same color we used on the shower floor. It's gonna look phenomenal. Now check this out right here. It says rapid setting. I'm gonna spin this box around and let's go over a couple of things. Right here, they are mixing it by hand for five minutes. If you mix it with a drill for five minutes, like we have done in the past, you're gonna introduce a lot of friction in the product that makes heat and it's gonna go off super quick for you and you're gonna have a hard time, maybe an impossible time getting it on the wall before it sets up in the bucket. So what we like to do, we mix it with a drill for one minute until it's the consistency that we like and then we let it slake for five. So let's measure our water and we're gonna show you how we mix it and get those bathrooms grouted.
All right, that was very fast, gang. And I gotta say, when you use leveling system, whether it's the wedge type or the screw type, and all your tiles are level, you get less buildup, right? Because th this trowel is just skimming across the top and it's removing everything. Like if this tile were lower, you'd have some grout there, right? And you'd have to clean it off with a sponge. But this one is done. Let's move the party to the master bedroom. dude I'm done you're up let's do it hey bud how you doing over there what? Well, good news is my side's perfect. There you go, gang. The shower, the niche, the floors in both bathrooms are all grouted, and we are beat. I'm soaked, dude. That's hard work, isn't it? It, is. it took both Jordan and I to put that grout down. I was working in that bathroom, and he got started in this one. Because the second bag we mixed, it was like a separate batch of grout. The first one was perfect, but the second bag, even though the same temperature water, same temperature powder, it just went off a lot faster than the first one. Same mixing, everything. But that's the nature of grout. You gotta stay on top of it. But doesn't that look fantastic? We are so excited that the tiling is done. Make sure you tile and grout your like button for us. Smash it for Jordan and I, we really appreciate that. Get down below in the comments, ask us some of your great questions and leave us some of your great comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you on our next video. Mm -hmm.